Why? Why? Can you turn off the light? No. Hey. I can't see no. the board. Back in December 2015, a few of my students and I saved some money to build some computers because I wanted to teach them how to put these things together for the first time and for our programming practice. So I made a list for the families according to affordability and each one of us took us a while but we saved the money and we ordered the parts. Once we did, of course, we got some nice things. We got some power supplies, we also got some video cards, and we got some inexpensive processors. Now, of course, they're not Core i7s, but you make do with what you have. We also got some SSD drives and memory. And what I didn't show you here is that we also got a 4 terabyte hard drive. Of course, we also got a Mini ITX motherboard. We bought a cab truck to make lugging these machines easier because I wanted to make sure, like I said, that we could bring them every weekend. And to make the typing more enjoyable, they each got a mechanical keyboard. Along with that, of course, we got some nice mice, wireless, of course. And before we put them together, of course, we checked that everyone got that part and nothing was missing. And once we were ready, we began by assembling the motherboard components. Yeah, you're sweet. Okay, push it in. Uh uh, the other side. There you go. There you go. Now, always. Make sure by pushing it in just a little. It shouldn't, you shouldn't need to, but push it in, okay? If you got the extra one, then put in the second one. Uh, that's only you guys. How I did it here, just in case, just for the video. So, Wait, remember, guys. No, this is the CPU in, remember? We put it flat, and then we let this thing go under. It goes under this screw so that as we push this forward, it goes, it feels hard. Here it's gonna feel hard. Especially, especially if you that are not used to it might think that it's almost breaking. Oh, okay. I thought you were just saying it. Right? Yeah. Okay, so to transfer the heat to the fan, it is essential. No CPU can ever be mounted on a fan without this stuff. Well, because what you don't want to do is you don't want to put so much on that. Remember, we're gonna squeeze the fan on there. You don't want it so much that you're gonna, right. it's gonna be just like when you put too much jam on your bread, you know what happens. It squishes on the sides. Yeah, you got all the mermelada on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh okay. my god. There's <laughs> Kevin. Well, it's a good thing we're in the gloves. Okay, everybody has some? Okay. Is it like this? The next thing we do. Let's spin it out. Do you notice you have the four holes here? Yeah. Right? Do you notice them? Yeah. Okay. Now, what we do is we put it over those four holes like this. You push them. Exactly, look, you push them in by corners, look, like this. Oh, like two? Yeah. And now, just double check and look, there should be no movement. All four of these now should look, should feel. They should have snapped. Look here very carefully. And you will notice that there is a very, very tiny coaxial cable. Yeah. There's a teeny yeah, tiny little like hole. IPhone, Do yeah. you notice that? Yes. Take off the rubbers. Right there. You notice that you have two plugs up here on your card. Yeah. One there and one there. Right? One there. Yeah. One there and one there, right? Okay, you Does attach them. Look. Anyone? Doesn't matter. Look. Okay. But very and then you just push in. Yeah. Once the memory, CPU, and fan were attached to the motherboard, each student mounted the board inside the case. Now because they were so small, of course, they needed help. Keep in mind that although it's not hard to figure out which wire connects to what component, connecting everything inside such a small box is another matter entirely. It took us about 12 hours, and if you're wondering why, check out our other video, but eventually we did manage to install Debian Linux onto the machines. Luckily, the configuration we chose was compatible with Linux. Well, except for the Wi-Fi part, which is a little intermittent. And of course, the students were all tired, but relieved. And by the time we picked up, we'd spent about 13 hours. And of course, the next day, we celebrated with a pizza party 
and our first code on the Debian Linux machine. Since then, they've been bringing the machines every week, and learning coding, and getting better every time. So the machines turned out quite well, and each student now knows how, to, how they're put together, and how to create code to make them do amazing things.